TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? It's the greatest piece of, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, that's a warning. YouTube, you see it. Don't forget, twitch.com. You can watch the live streams. The usernames at the bottom. The Patreon and the merch is also in the link below, man. Shout out, uh, what was that? Why can't I see what that was, though? Shout out Crypto, though. I know you did something. That's tough. Appreciate it. Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. This is take three, by the way, people. Shout out Crypto. That's 11 months straight for the tier one sub. It's a cold, dark winter afternoon, but interceptor Katie Eustace is in her happy place. The heated driver's seat of a 335 brake horsepower X5. It's heated? Pure four-wheel zen. We're on an afternoon shift, we're on a three midnight. The roads have been quite dry though, it's not raining for once. So hopefully it'll be quite a good shift. A VW Golf has triggered the old Eustace Spidey sense. Echo, Julia, echo. Shift, it's insured to a woman, but I think it's a male driving it. Katie dreams of owning a pad in California's Laguna Beach, but there's not so much as a Renault Laguna out tonight. Just an old golf it's driven by either a very butch woman or a wrong one. <laughs> yeah, better be cool, man. Yeah, two thousand twenty-four. And it's got a vehicle failing to stop. Chesterfield Road North towards around about the Presley. And immediately runs a red. Why do everybody work harder than Lisa? I just noticed Katie out here by herself. High it's speed chase. Golf. Yeah, we can towards the R8 here. P64 M7 towards Shiver. Speed is five zero. Very safe to drive. Katie, I mean, she loves her job. They're literally, the golf like a VW badge, and can see it's two off. She loves it. I think it's female. Yeah, speed is five zero. The suspect is sticking to the speed limit, and even observing certain rules of the road. He's indicated to overtake. But not others, as he flies over a giveaway. Yeah, up now. Super Juliet one seven. After the close shave, he buries the throttle. Speed increasing to uh, seven zero. A head on at this speed would likely be fatal. Definitely. Oh. Oh. Wrong side of there again. She married, Katie? It's a zero out of ten for the driving, but full marks for signalling to other road users. So near side indication, it's gone right, right, right. Oh, my this is mildly bizarre. At what point do you give up? Because first of all, I thought you was trying to escape, Katie. You putting all your signals and that thing. And there's a new addition to this bizarre winter's tale. What's that? Brownie. Confirm Brownie and police dog Monty have joined the hunt. Mm. Mm. But the suspect oh, doesn't look like stopping anytime soon. So it's going through to 20 miles an hour. Under the bridge. Katie's been on his tail for eight minutes. Derbyshire. 
We're in Derbyshire. You're not shaking, Katie, buddy. The pursuit has gone cross county. I done seen Katie sacrifice her car, her body, everything for this job. <laughs> this is a try hard to the fullest cop right here. You're not getting away. It's done. Look out, Derbyshire. Here he comes. It's over. He's beeping it on the road users. Through the red traffic lights on. Obviously. Through the red traffic lights under the bridge. The roads are getting busier. Yes, we are bought by traffic. Aldi and a gas station next to each other. Ever taking a brush. They say buses come in threes, so mercifully he goes off road. We off road in a Jetta? Katie thinks he's got one thing in mind. I think he's going to try and run, you know. What the suspect doesn't know is Monty the police dog is also a keen runner. Man, that's that's a spook. See that see that dog make everything not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no way you escaping it. He got you got to be a a a, a a a a a a seasoned veteran at track and field to get away from this dog, and I just don't believe the average person is that fast. You know, to get so I it's a D camp. Run up, run up. He's running, 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 running. I ain't gonna lie, he got up out of there and got gone. Look how excited Katie is. Go back. <laughs> Look. It's a D camp. Run up, run up. He's running, 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 running. Release the hound. Oh my god, there ain't nothing out running that dog, buddy. It's up. He's up the path, he's up the path. I ain't gonna lie, buddy jumped out of that car with his both of his knees was exposed. He had on jeans and both of his knees was cut out of the jeans, which gave him more range of motion. So as soon as he high kneed, as Lucy would say, that knee came out of that 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 open slot and he was gone. Buddy kind of fast, but that dog, that dog naked, <laughs> he gonna get you. Interceptors are after two runaways who made off in a battered golf. Mate, we got We're gonna figure that out this stream. He's broken Crypto. every rule in the highway code except oddly one. He's indicated to an overtake. This is mildly bizarre. The driver's ditched his motor and passenger and legged it. Run up, run up! Running, 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 running. But Monty the dog is on the case. The suspect has a head start, which makes it all the more fun for Monty and his head full of teeth. Oh! Don't stand still, Monty! Leave! <laughs> Monty got a, a mouthful of human being. That's tough. See, this is the. the, the and that's a. What is that? A German shut that, that, Uh uh, man. Uh, Bro, not trying to let go either. That's driver and passenger nicked. See what I'm saying? Hold on, turn him back around. Boom. That's the right knee fully out. And you can see down there that left knee fully out. He even got a little bit of thigh out. So his hamstrings could breathe. You know what I'm saying? What do you get? Like, hey. He got a mind clear way. What did he get on? The full Monty. Mate, you're under arrest for sufficient effect of motor vehicle and failing to stop. Well, you do not have to send him. You don't have to do that The hero has made quite an impression. Where's he got you? On the arm. They just punch, they're not even puncture wounds, they're just bruises where the teeth have gone on, mate. Yeah, yeah they're all like that, look. Yeah. It's been a successful, if somewhat strange, pursuit. But it's about to take an even more bizarre turn with the identity of his passenger. Oh, I have to set it up. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> I don't know how, but whatever, we're gonna look. It's his mum. 
and the getaway car is her vehicle. So what will happen? What? what? Wait a minute. A turn or if somewhat strange pursuit, but it's about to take an even more bizarre turn with the identity of his passenger. It's his mum. What? A, this is an L son first and foremost. Why would you take your mom on a high speed pursuit? And the getaway car is her vehicle. Oh so what will happen God. is your car will be seized um, by us and we're going to be reporting you for allowing him to drive the car because you've knowingly allowed them to drive that car. You know he shouldn't be driving it. Yeah. All right, so that'll probably be points on your licence as well. All right, so I'll get the paperwork for that. This is crazy. In this case, mother might not know best. So she's allowed him to drive that car at five o'clock at night when you've got loads of cars, pedestrians, kids about, and it's just the entirely... It's only 5 p.m.? Why it look like it's 2 p.m.? <laughs> it's thoughtlessness, and the behaviour of it is quite disgusting, really. It's just thoughtless, and what a complete idiot. But he's got a lovely dog bite for Christmas, so there we go. Her son might be an idiot, but he's still her idiot. Love you. Love you. <laughs> and Katie might have the answer as to why... Hey, the W family, actually, low-key. Why this pair kind of took fun. off in the first place. Let's go. Shout out to Crypto for the gifted sub. Salute. Got caught bail not to contact his mum, which makes more sense for his not stopping now, is that... He knows that if he breaches his court bail, oh we are bound by the courts to arrest Wait a minute. Him. So if we'd have stopped him finding with his mum. My bad. The five gifted subs. He'd have been arrested anyway, so actually, that's probably why he's not stopped. Just a uh, breath. All right, we'll give you a lift home. Thank you. Just time to get her belongings. This, this won't okay. Can I take my shopping? Oh, what is it? Just pants, socks. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. Before heading it's off important. with a far more sensible driver. Right. Go on then, don't so, get you off. Yeah. It's been great work by Monty. Mm -hmm. Oh! Don't stop, stop. Ah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I need to go make sure Monty cool. Oh and some top driving from Katie. Yeah, it's, it's just lovely that everything fell into place and we had the dog unit behind us all the way. It was a nice feeling that you think, actually, for once, we can, we're going to stay in the car and the dog will just go and eat him, which is what happened. <laughs> Monty's pedigree chump pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, failing to... Monty really was trying to eat the whole human being. Stop, no licence, no insurance was ordered to do 40 hours unpaid work and given a 16-week prison term suspended for a year. It's not bad. He was banned from that, driving man. for 20 months not bad with £205 costs. His mum received a scenic route home and no further action was taken. Shout out Jordan for the bits. Appreciate you. Organised crime destroys communities. But the Nottinghamshire force is fighting back with Operation Reacher, a neighbourhood-led initiative aimed at disrupting criminal behaviour. They've seized almost £1.8 million worth of weapons and drugs to date and hope to add to that haul this morning. OK. So, uh, you two... Once again, I just want to let you know, if you're reviewing this with a human, there is no cursing, and anything that should be blurred out is blurred out. Please. What is it we're doing today? Uh, well, the information is that he's involved in the storage and supply of Class A, Class and, a? B drugs. and B's. drugs. Inspector Marcus Oldroyd and his team are planning a dawn raid. So we're going to execute a pace warrant, and we're looking for... Uh, mobile devices, cash and valuables, controlled drugs, of course, Class A, B, um, scales, the usual paraphernalia. On the crew this morning is interceptor James Patterson. We've just had a briefing 
in relation to a warrant we're just about to go and execute. It's in relation to a local drug dealer who's uh, been put away recently in prison. Information suggests his girlfriend is still dealing drugs from that address. Team Reach. That's tough. They're trying to get the whole family, the whole bloodline. Yeah, rolls out. Crack of dawn. It's the crack of dawn. Surprise is key. Up. A big red key. We'll just go back ahead and lock her. Please! Police officer, stay where you are! Okay, yeah, have a sense of panel. They're in in a heartbeat and immediately tackle the. You know what it is, woman? This is a the jig is up. You going to jail? Email target. What are you doing to me? Listen to me. There's a warrant being executed on these premises. Okay, so just stay where you are. Listen, there's glass on the floor. Watch your feet. So just watch where you feel. Listen to me. We're not going to be knocking. All suspects are swiftly in bracelets. Man, do you know what a rape? What is up with everybody and having their knee out? He ain't even got no lotion on this mug. Look. 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 What's that at when you ashy? He got eczema on this mug and that thing. Like, come on, tighten up. You couldn't get no cocoa butter? With the house and occupants secured, it's down to business. At least they're cleaning up. In America, oh well. And when it comes to hidden drugs, there's one nose for the job. Jack the Lab has a sense of smell thousands of times better than a cop. Anything iffy, he'll find it. I'll wait till you can clear some of that, and then we'll put the dog over as you bring it out. Yeah. Jack. While Jack and Handler concentrate on the outside, James and his team. Jack look like a good boy. Work the inside. Nothing really surprised me anymore in terms of where we'll actually find things. Uh, we had one, I think it was last summer, searching along the wall. You could see handprints on the mirror. Turns out if you put your handprint on the mirror and pushed it, the whole wall revolved and it was actually a door. That led through to uh, a oh, secret wow. compartment where we actually end up recovering some firearms. I don't really believe you. You would have to show me in an episode, because now you're just green lighting us. I don't believe that happened. There's no malice through the looking glass this time, but the search turns up more flash trainers than run DMC's house. <laughs> what was out there? Is fresh, that wasn't it? And an air weapon. This is nothing. Plus drugs. Oh, there was a small amount of cannabis split into separate dealer bags. Not the big haul they'd hoped for, but these raids not only disrupt gangs, they send a wider minutes. message to the local community. So it's really important that um, police take positive action around addresses like this. It's a vast majority of people that live up, up this street and across the estate are good, decent people. They want to see a police service that's um, acting on their behalf, not only to disrupt and dismantle criminal behaviour, but also to regain a foothold in the community and just building faith back up, really. There wasn't enough evidence to link the female to drug dealing, so no further action was taken. Bro, how in beer? Another occupant of the house was served with a community resolution order. The taxpayers' dollars <laughs> went to six bags of marijuana. That is, and that's. I mean, job well done, officers. You did great. Born and bred Nottingham boy Dan Machin is part of the firearms team. Maybe Just because we carry it. firearms and drive around in an armed response vehicle, it doesn't restrict us from going to the everyday incidents um, that happen uh, throughout the city. Riding shotgun alongside Dan is Operational Firearms Commander James Carrington. He's a fantasy football fan and a father of five. 
He likes a hectic work life too. Father of five? My boy is out there planting seeds, wasn't he? <laughs> His favourite patrol being the late shift. So a day shift might not be as busy for a variety of reasons. Whereas in the evenings, a lot of people are at home after a day's work with their families and sometimes a little bit more criminality rears its head because these are the kind of people that are out about in the evenings, under cover of darkness. That's when you'll perhaps get a little bit more of a spike of activity. Oh man, good night, Krupa. And it doesn't get busier than the weekend shift. Saturday night, knocking around. Where jobs can fall straight into their laps. The white Audi runs a red light right in front of their noses. Bad move. Just lit it up. Terrible move. But there's no... Um, coming to a stop on Kersal Drive. James makes his introductions. Hello, mate, you all right? I'm sorry. Just as you've, as you've come out of goal away, you're just a bit, a bit quick, mate. I think we were on green and I think you must have been on red. What was that about? You got a drink at all tonight? Yes. Right. How much are we talking? I don't know, a few bottles to be fair, I don't know. Right. How much are we talking? I don't know, a few bottles to be fair, I don't know. A few bottles of what? <laughs> that is, a, like, what are, we, what are we talking here? Right. Three, four, five. Jump out then, mate. Well, obviously, we'll do a breath test, see if you have a drink drive limit. He admits to drinking, but isn't raising a toast to the camera crew. I don't want to be on the camera. We're going to do a breath test, make sure if you drink drive limit or not, and go from there. That's number one priority at the minute. What's your name? I'm not telling you why that light's on. Turns out Captain Camera Shy has previous. Have you ever been arrested before for drink driving? Yes, I have. So you're a veteran? That's crazy. Imagine getting caught for DUI one time, then getting it again. And again, and again, like, bro, stop. He's got form for drink driving. Go to, Despite like, his current lesson. predicament, he seems more concerned with his motor. What's good? My mum lives up there. Can I put up my mum's road? Right. Well, obviously, if you are over there, mate, you won't be driving it anywhere. What we're likely to do... Can you put up my mum's house? I'm not massively concerned about, you know, the welfare of your car at the minute. What I am yeah, concerned well, about is the fact that you've had a drink vehicle. and you're driving a car. What's your name, please? Derek. Derek. Yeah. Oh, okay. That doesn't even sound like his real name. Derek has another pressing issue. To my Have a wee at the back of the car, please. No, mate. To the wall. I need a wee. I'm not going to wee my pants. I'll give him my phone out. I'm going to piss myself. Can I not going to go for a wee? No, mate, because we need to do the procedure, don't we? You know what I start me about a drink. We need to piss. Right. Mate, I've been there. I get it, all yeah, right? No, none of them James is playing good cop in order to try to get the suspect to comply. I told you I'm going to be the minute. How do you know that? I've told you Until we blow in that machine, how do you know that? Enter Dan. Oh. I'm the bad, bad cop. I need a wee. What's I your need... name? Anthony. Anthony. I'm required... Derek. Required to provide... I'm telling you the truth now, aren't I? I need <laughs> a piss. <laughs> I'm required to provide a sample of breath for analysis. Piss, yeah. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got to ask you some questions I'm first. over the limit. Oh. You don't know that. Court, get banned there, do whatever you want. I don't give a more. Are you happy to provide a sample of breath for analysis? Bro, not a whole the suspect formerly procedure. known as Derek tries to negotiate. If I blow that, can I go for a piss? Listen to the... Well, not yet, he can't. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. He didn't the red light. He didn't change. But Anthony is in no position to make demands. OK, deep breath and uh, blow into the machine for me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop, thank you. Hold on to your bladder. It's bad news. Well, we knew that. Anthony, the drink light drive limit is 35. You've blown 63. Mm, the limit this double. The rest of it on suspicion of Please driving whilst... Uh, no, you need to have another bride roll. I can't hold right, the bride roll. You can. You're a big lad. You're fine. Like, no. Anthony, listen to what we're no. telling you. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Run, run, run Anthony. Look how I am. Good. <laughs> Never mind. He's in touch with reality. That's... Okay. It's a trip down the neck. Come on. Did y'all hear what he said? Come on, man. Oh, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to fight him. Good. <laughs> it's a trip down the neck. Oh, oh, we're talking about good. But even now, he's still dishing out the demands. Can I not go next five? No, right. mate. No, no, you don't get a choice of transport. You don't get a choice of where your car's being parked. Quick wee, I, yeah, am, I swear down, I am busting. Jump in the car. Come mate, you'll be in the police station in yeah. five minutes. Yeah, you can't wee in public, can you? 
Jump in the car. In the car, please, mate. That's cap. We've actually seen them let somebody use the bathroom in public. I've seen we've we've seen it on this show, have we not? We have. I remember it. What? He's beginning to test their patience. Yeah, he hasn't yet. Anthony, I'm not gonna do anything just to transport you, mate. We're not going to no. handcuff you to the rear. No, I'm not doing anything wrong, have I? Have I done anything wrong? Yes, you're under arrest for drink driving, Anthony. No, have I kicked off? I haven't kicked off. Anthony, let's not be stupid, mate. Anthony continues to not kick off. I'm turning right. the car like you've told me to I, in the car. And I'm telling you to stand still until I've done this. He's finally in cuffs. Right, now get in. They need the van. He gonna get it. He can. He can fit in there. See you down there. You're a lot more patient than I was. <laughs> At the station. Anthony, come on then, mate. A wee search. What's his surname? Yeah, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Before a familiar request. Can I go for a wee? Can I? Can I go for a wee? Yeah. You've searched me, you've done everything. I'll come with you. To do. It's some temporary relief for everyone. <laughs> then an appointment in the evidential breath testing room. True gum. Just take a seat over there, mate. He might blow under. Either he reads upside down or he's a master of disguise. But either way... Come on then, mate. Step up, Anthony. Come round to my left-hand side, mate. Just behind me. He... But the thing is, he didn't waste enough time. You needed to waste at least an hour at the roadside. At least a good 30 minutes. You should have did something. Can't hide from just Pass out. Keep blowing, 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 keep blowing. Bang on, mate. Here we go. 60 and 60. So your result is 60 in a nutshell. Yeah, obviously. He's almost twice the legal limit. Time is it? On about, by. I want to go Weatherspoons for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast at Weatherspoons? It's not quite breakfast at Tiffany's, but then again, he's no Audrey Hepburn. Is yeah. Weatherspoons breakfast good? Yeah. yeah. He pleaded guilty to drink driving. He was disqualified for 36 months. Dang, three years? £409 in fines and costs. It is what it is, buddy. I wonder if he got that weather soon. Still to come. Knife crime is on the rise, with over 45,000 incidents in England and Wales last year. Mm. But Nottinghamshire police are fighting back, with the only dedicated knife crime team out. At Weatherspoons, it's only five pound twenty p for a full English breakfast, bro. What? Here at the place where I went, it was like twenty three dollars. Outside of London, he's looking wound up like they've just been having a and he's shouting back at him. Yeah. Part of that unit, Sergeant Stephen King and Lee Armstrong are out on the Nottingham late shift. Little, two young lads uh, yeah. on foot across the car park now. And there's a little problem at the supermarket. Well, wow, whatever. Running, running there, look, in the Tesco. They're running. It doesn't look like they're off to do their weekly shop. Stand still. Stand still. Yeah, stay there. What are you running for, dude? No, 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 come no, here. just smacked us. We need to come run. Come here. All right, come over here, mate. One lad gives himself up. But the other one is off with Lee hot on his tail. Stroke test scores. Play stop to Y'all need Sophie. Sophie would have definitely caught. Sophie Sophie would have already been on him. Dude, slow. What's just happened? We've just been flipping like up. one basically, yeah. This guy had beef for me before. Me I tried to come and sort it. He just smacked my brother and said that there's other guys in the yard that's gonna come running after us, so we just ran. Just got punched. This is what I'm saying. If you're not really about that life, just stay home. You can't. You got. You got a beef. You came outside to sort that beef. Bro took one punch and ran. You got a Spider-Man into the universe hoodie on. Like, just stay home. Watch movies. Play video games. It's okay. We're not gonna judge you. Now we got something to say about it. But if you would have just stayed home and be like, man, I'm not even on that. It would have been cool. <laughs> so that's why I was running. 
Right. Nah, I never There's been an this. incident with another group of youths. Steve believes the suspect might be carrying a blade and, as a matter of course, will be searched. I'm Sergeant King on the knife crime team from Sands Police Station. You take for purpose search. Afterwards, I make a record of it and you're entitled to a copy of that. Do you understand? Yeah. Anything on you, you shouldn't have. The gold cart loving Sarge has been at the sharp end of the knife crime team since its inception in 2017, leading a nine strong crew. And they don't hang around. Lee's nabbed his runaway. Has he been searched? Yeah, I need to warn him because he's uh, just been in court for having a knife. Both suspects have previously been caught with blades and are well known to the knife team. Just saying, I can't run off because. Was that fight? Was yeah, like, well, he's told us that now, but we don't know that, do we? Yeah, All we see is a bit of something going on. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of for having a knife, you? Nice they got caught immediately, told everything, all details. I so. My missus told like, me. We have this uh, knife risk register, which is the people who are most at risk of carrying a knife, um, either because they previously have or they've been a victim of violence um, and likely to carry one to protect themselves, supposedly. Um, those two both feature on it, brothers both feature on that. But this time, they're clean. What's your plan now, then? What are you going to do? Go in. You reckon you have to carry one because everyone else says, well, it's probably not best to come looking for him, then, is it? It's always best to use this. We won't, we won't come well, or just keep out of bother. Might be an option of mine, ain't you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Just stay home. He said it's best to use fists, but you caught one and ran immediately. You know we're going to stop you anyway, don't Which you? Which is cool. Because you've recently carried knives. We know that you do. You've openly said you do. Yeah. So you no, fully I'm expect to be stopped, stopped again, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. That, that around, you know. Their team have increased stop and searches like this one by 58%. With Nottinghamshire knife crime booking the nationwide trend and dropping by 8%, it seems their message is getting through. I've never carried anything anymore, there's no point. Right, okay. Okay. but you have done recently, so... Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. no, not recently, this is March, bro. Yeah, right. got, okay. Steve right. lets them on their way. Right. Well, we'll leave you to it then, yeah, but yeah. best advice, get, get back to Mapley or Town Centre, wherever you're going, all right? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, then. Cheers. Bro. But yeah, yeah. best advice, get, get back to Mapley or Town... Around your waist? Town Centre, wherever you're going, all right? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, then. Yeah, just go home. It's not for y'all. You don't. You don't got nothing to prove to nobody. Just go home. Keep an eye out for them again later. And I've explained to them they uh, they're likely to be searched again because we know that they carry weapons around. The intelligence suggests that they do. Um, so uh, it's in their best interest clearly not to. The team also proactively target the drivers behind knife crime, such as violence and drugs. How far up do you think the big gov? It's a few hours on, and the boys have received intel on a black Seat, potentially linked to drugs. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's it, right there, yeah. We've got it. It's uh, right, right, right onto Sellerswood. Can't see the driver. It only looks like one, innit? Yeah, we see. We'll go for a stop then. Um, this is a marked car. Up Sellerswood. Yeah, it's a marked car. Time for a word. Even from inside their car, there's an unmistakable aroma. What is it? I can smell a cannabis. Hello, mate. You're right. How you doing? Can you turn the engine off, boys, dude? Nice. What's your name, mate? Steve, get straight to the point. You got any drugs on you? No, I haven't. There's a smell of cannabis coming from in here. I've had people in the car that have smoked me, but I ain't got no right. cannabis on me. Okay. The suspect claims his innocence, but Steve's not buying it. You're detained under Section 23 and misuse of drugs act, mate. Oh, that's the worst excuse. Yeah, there was people in the car smoking, but I ain't good. Come on, bro. Yeah, just uh, we'll pop this one on you. Whip your seatbelt off, dude. How true is that ever? He's in cuffs. As the cavalry rolls in to help. Jesus, yeah, smell that. It's very strong. So just step out for me, mate. weed's in there, pal? No, I got no weed. I got yeah, going right. He again denies having cannabis. And anyway, he's more of a baker and quite prolific. Cannabis cakes, pal, yeah? They're wrapped cookies and Allegedly. But this wannabe Paul Hollywood insists his recipe is street legal. No, just biscuits and cake. Yeah. yeah. Normal biscuits and cakes. The normal biscuits and cakes will be sent off for testing. 
It's a large There's nothing wrong with that. And the master baker may have more ingredients in his trousers. What you got there? No, really. There is, mate. I can feel it. What are you, uh, just join me? He's got stuck some in crotch. That's just a bit of weed. Bit of weed? Personal use, I just bought it. Personal use and in a personal place. Just open it here. Yeah. In your top of your pal, your trousers no. up. Oh, in your pants. So what he looking at? Why why it take three people to look down this this gentleman's pants like this? No one's volunteering to fish it out. So the Sarge steps up and orders Ken to do it. Let me... well, I can get that, mate. They can get that because it's, it's, it's just there. Yeah. Don't, need to, don't need to expose anything, yeah. yeah no, How much is there, mate? Should be about an ounce there or something. Right. Let's carry on with the car then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's around £200 worth of weed. Yeah, it's about an ounce as well. The not so fabulous Baker Boy has all the tools. Cannabis vape pen thing. Yeah. It's more like somewhere in the back of the THC tree. vape things. <sighs> more stupid criminals. This is an idiot. Like why why are you traveling with this much stuff on you? Like where are you going? And one more hiding place. Get the boot open. I've told him I'll open it for you. Looks like it's not just baking on his culinary CV. That's brand new, bro. It's today from Argos. I've got what a receipt in my car. It's a slow cooker. All right. And a, um, a steamer. It's the other pot that interests Stephen Lee. It's always good to take any amount of drugs off the streets and uh, and to deal with someone like him who's. Um, Those regular brownies well. look decent. While Chef is taken off for a roasting. The boys return to the name. Let me tell you something, man. Drug free is the way to be. But the one time, man, I had a roommate that used to, you know what I'm saying? Where I come from, drugs are, they're legal. So I had a roommate that used to like cook, like bake cookies and things of that nature. I ate one cookie one day. And, and, and I sat on the edge of my bed. And by the time I snapped out of it, and, and not, I wasn't asleep. By the time I snapped out of it and realized that I was still sitting on the edge of the bed, six hours had passed. Never again. To check on that hole. Never Freshly again. Freshly baked. Smell of freshness. Did this. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Obviously, the cannabis is relatively, a relatively small amount. And it's not bagged, but um, it's the cakes that now we've laid them out there's obviously a fair few there's 15 packaged cookies a baked brownie thc vapes as well as a wedge of cash all in all a recipe for disaster so we've uh, arrested him for possession of the intent to supply cannabis because we suspect that's what he's been doing and more than likely uh, anticipate it'll be released under investigation for us to uh, get the cannabis items tested the cakes and uh, confirm what they are and then uh, put a case to the crown prosecution service Nottinghamshire's naughty pastry chef is under investigation Never. for possession with intent to supply drugs. He'll expect a fine at the very least, and a Hollywood handshake is out of the question. Never. Brownies moist in the mud. Mm -hmm. No matter how advanced the technology at their disposal, Nothing can replace the Bobby's nose. That sixth sense that something's not quite right. It's kind of that thing where you get the young and serious officers trying the hardest to catch uh, offenders, yet the old wise police officer will be sat on the corner where they're running towards kind of thing. Um, and it's just little telltale signs that you pick up. And as they say, when something doesn't look right or seem right, the majority of the times it isn't. It's good advice. Even for Officers regular Andy stuff, Clark regular people. Clark and Phil Broughton are out in the wee small hours in the unmarked Volvo T5. Who's that van then? A van up ahead has got their spidey senses tingling. Coming from there. Hmm? Place behind us. Phil is a long serving copper following in his grand. What's his nickname? The nose, the beak, what was Grandfather's it? footsteps. And his pet peeve is drink and drug drivers. Clarkie lights up the van, 
Did it stop? But Van Man motors on into the back of beyond. Finish stop. Eventually, he pulls over. Watch him, 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 watch him. starting to run you. In the middle of nowhere is crazy. What was that they even went under? Gotta be careful, because I don't wanna. Phil greets the early morning driver. Hey, all. Hey. Who are you up to? What's going on? Sorry? Nice spot for just going round. All oh, right. Did you know we were behind you? No. No? What, were we with blue lights and everything? Yeah, when I seen him, I pulled over. Right. OK. Just step out for us. Time to break him down with some tough questioning. I just came from McDonald's. He's trying to go home and eat. What you got on your shunt have? Anything? Yeah. Just keep your hands. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, 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 you, got, what you got on you? What you got on you? Yeah. Cocaine. You've got some cocaine, okay. have you? Ah. Okay, I'm just going to put some handcuffs on you. OK. Where, where is that cocaine? Um, in the wallet. No worries. Okay, put him in your back. A little bugger sugar. Might huh? as well strike while the truth serum's hot. Have you had something to drink as well? Yeah. How much you had to drink? About five pints. No worries. The confessions keep on coming. Are you taking any cocaine tonight? Yeah, I've had a bit, yeah. I've had a bit of you. And coming. You on short? Not short, no. No. Bro, you out here down bad. Tremendously down bad. Mr. Honest faces drink driving charges, no insurance, and possession of a Class A drug. Right, is that the only bit? That's the only bit. It's almost done. Yeah. We're going to see you in the back of our car. The suspect has everything to hide, but so far he's been completely cooperative. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll take Appreciate it easy. Appreciate you not messing us about. Yeah, All right, mate. We'll get it sorted. What do you mean by Clark, that? He gives him a breath test. Blow a good, steady breath, and I'll tell you what. Talking about we'll get it sorted with with jail time? Yeah. Y'all, he's going to jail. Okay, and blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep Stop there, thank you. Okay, so you've you've failed that test. Mm. Uh, it's You've blown 47, the legal limit is 35. Mm. Okay. So at the moment, I'm arresting you on suspicion of being over the prescribed limit. Uh, He'd probably be good when he get to the station, though. Um, for driving uh, with drink, OK? He wasn't lying. He is over the limit. Time to break out another truth detector. Barely. What we're doing now is just a uh, drugs wipe as well, because he's mentioned he's on uh, taking cocaine. OK, thank you. While they await the result, Phil takes a look at the van. Open the way. back. And smells a rat. I'm not happy with that number, just how the uh, the sticker is. It just seems to be bubbled up. With 20 years' experience checking vehicle ID numbers, also known as VINs, Phil knows a dodgy one when... Bro, is down bad. It's over. You outside going on a little, little, little free of mind ride with all of this stuff that could possibly go it wrong? It's a, it might possibly be a uh, stolen vehicle. It feels as though it's been resprayed. It's very rough. And also, if we look at the letters, they're not very straight. Man, Forget Phil, Vin chill. Diesel. This is Vin Phil, a car fraudster's worst nightmare. Chill. No, so if you look at the eight, it's just a little bit misshapen. A red flag, a little bit, that potentially the the, uh, the Vin numbers have been altered. A second opinion from Clarky. <sighs> Robocop. Uh, no. That's no. not right. No, that's right. It's that's not, not right it? at all. No, 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 no. Leads them to suspect what he got two of the try hardest cops on him. This this one, he do uh he always giving lectures and this one's not letting anything slip by him. I we know this. One thing. It'll be a uh seeds on suspicion being stolen. Mate, is the van stolen? Not to my knowledge. Not exactly convincing. He told you the truth. This just from a routine stop. You get a feel for something, don't you? And potentially the final nail in the coffin. The result of this test is it's indicating that you are positive for cocaine. Obviously. Okay. You cares quite a bit today. Cool. Right. Ready to go. With the van secured, it's off to the nick. I mentioned to you that the machine that we used. Uh, at the car was in, gives us an indication. Be sober. But this is what we call an approved device, and this gives the absolute 
answer of what the alcohol level is in your breath. Keep going, 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 keep going. That's it. Thank you very much. One first and foremost, I say this every time. If I ever had to do this one, I'd pass out. I don't got that much breath in my body. Like that's too much. He's blown 43 and 39. Oh, 30. Ooh, so it was we, this close. Take the lower of the two readings. So at 39. Does it matter? You like like the judge is about to be like, oh, okay, you good. You was barely even drunk. We'll let you go. No, you might as well take the higher one. Um, then we wouldn't look to prosecute you for being over the prescribed limit for alcohol. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe. No, nah, man, I spoke too soon. Okay. Police don't prosecute under 40. It's one let off, but he's far from off the hook. Right. Right, let's come with me. Well, go and get your blood done. All right, okay. The bloods will be sent off for testing. It's been a good result, all thanks to the boy's gut feeling. So you're good at 40. So ultimately, he's gone out tonight, he's had some drink, he's driven. Uh, by his own admission, he's taken cocaine and he's driven. Um, and he's potentially in the stolen van as well. Um, that's a risk that we're not prepared to allow people to take uh, in Nottinghamshire. So that's why we've caught him. That's why he's been in custody. Uh, we'll take it further. And when we get the results back, then uh, he may well be going to court. So not his lucky night tonight. At all. Honest Joe was arrested for driving under the influence. No insurance. Golly. And Forty possession six. of cocaine. He is still under investigation. No oh, action let was taken go. regarding the suspected van theft. Still to come. Just. I gotta do a lot of editing on this video, huh? That's tough. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six edits. It's the evening shift, and officers John Lee and Jules Bramley are heading to a sighting of a vehicle suspected of being involved in crime. There's a, what, a silver 4x4 that's uh, been photographed being involved in burglaries, but the photographs weren't good enough to identify the uh, registration of that. And one of our team, our sergeant, thinks he may well be with that vehicle. The suspect car is at the Golden Arches. It's always McDonald's. 876, we're just at uh, McDonald's now. The boy sergeant, Craig Luckett, is also in attendance. It's just gone through the drive through the minute. It just replicates that image. 10 4, they are just about to receive their food. Jules moves into position. We'll go in front of it. With the sergeant's car blocking the rear, the suspects are now the meat in a McInterceptor sandwich. <laughs> a McInterceptor sandwich is crazy. Oh, are you all right? See, that's the type of narrating that I came for. McIntercepting sandwich, that's tough. Is it your car? <laughs> Just switch engine off for me, mate, all right? Do you have any ID with you? Not on me, no. no. <laughs> What's in there eating a McFlurry going crazy? Hey, what's your name then, pal? He seems more interested in his ice cream than the matter in hand. Uh, <coughs> obviously. <laughs> Excuse the, re me. the reason I'm stopping you is because there's been a burglary this month and there's an image of a car identical to this. All right. So, is it your car? No. No. If this isn't your vehicle, then who's, yeah. who does he belong to? Uh, I've it off there. Off the no, you unbuckle your seatbelt. Off. Off. Just off the chat. Despite his convincing story, John has his doubts. Right. Do you know what? Yeah, I do appreciate how suspicious that sounds, yeah, don't you? No, yeah. Uh, my car broke down yeah, here and I borrowed it. Right. So who's the fellow you've borrowed it from then? Just Gavin. I know him, that's Gavin. Don't know his name, no? Not his, not his last name. The chap now has a name. Gavin. We're going to eat his whole meal out here. He didn't eat the Mick Flurry. Now he on to the, what is that, a Big Mac? So where does Gavin live then? Yeah, I don't know, I can go through. With Stacy? Right. It's almost as if he doesn't even know. Oh, Gavin and Stacy, how Gavin met Stacy? 
We just watched that in one verse 40 or 100. No, we. Insurance wise, take it you haven't got any. Yes. What? You're insured on this? Yeah. Why? Because it's not coming up with insurance on this. It's as far as I know, Yeah, but is it insured to you? Yeah, I'm insured for any car. On, on one of your vehicles? Yeah. What's your vehicle? Uh, I was driving a, but I had a Volvo. What's the edge of that? Uh, Mr. Forgetful now can't remember the details of the Volvo. He everybody in this month, you know, everybody got their cheeseburgers out. That's claims tough. to be insured on. Or is it? Is it your car any longer? No, yeah. no, not anymore. John points out the obvious. Well, you can't, you can't drive another car on a car that you're not insured on, can you? Yeah, but I uh, just can't remember. I can't remember. So then I'm, I'm gonna have to seize the vehicle until you can prove you've got insurance. Does that make sense? All right. It does. Let's hope Gavin isn't too angry. Any way I can contact him? No. It's bizarre how many times people borrow cars from folks they don't really know and can't tell you how to contact them. It's a fairly regular occurrence, unfortunately. Well, because of that story, you can probably be no, can't prosecute them. Not enough evidence, right? But we we'll see how we go. <laughs> it's a quick search. Hey, just stand here for me. Just put your hands up on there for me, just so I can give you a quick pat down, all right? We'll finish this entire meal. And a slurp of pink courage <laughs> before a trip to John's car. Hey! Take a drink with you for, for now, and I'll sort out the paperwork in relation to the car, all right? A McFlurry and some soda? Bro, it's diabolical. You don't care about diabetes or nothing? Just come around this side for us, bro. Where it's confession time about the mysterious Gavin. Thank you, Keith. I don't want, don't want him to get into trouble. Mark, Mark. Me, yeah, yeah. No, Mate, no, to be fair, right? He isn't going to get in trouble. But I yeah. just want to make inquiries to make sure it's not nicked. There's a breakthrough on his location. The garage is just down from Radford Road. Radford Road Police Station. All right. Do you know where you've got... What's the... Bro, just be quiet. Well, the truth is harder to reach than the dregs of his milkshake. Let's try again. Do you know this fella? He's just a friend. That's a milkshake? A friend. They always are. The man will be reported for no insurance, but they originally suspected the car was involved in a burglary. All of his presence here, I've got our suspicions. That certainly this is a vehicle I would suggest involved in the burglary, but we're recovering that. That'll all be fed through to the investigation team. And then detectives can do what uh, what they do. As for the identity of Gavin, I don't imagine there's any chance for. Is that a low key little pipe? <laughs> Never find out who Gavin is. Not in a million years, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs>